When patients develop atrial fibrillation, in general, they will lose about 20% of their cardiac output and efficiency. Most patients know that something has happened. They can feel the racing of the heart, the irregularity of the heart, and the palpitations. When I went to medical school, it was thought to be a chronic condition. It wouldn't have shortened your life. It needed to be treated. The drugs had their toxicities, and people started saying, well, should we just control how fast the heart goes and not worry about the rhythm, or should we control the rhythm? That's why scientific investigation needs to tease out these questions. But I think in recent times, we've recognized that to be an AFib will shorten your life even if you don't have valvular heart disease. Increasingly, we're looking for higher levels of achieving success, reducing the risk of stroke, which is so life-threatening in one case and disabling in others. Probably 80 or 90 percent of all ischemic strokes are related to atrial fibrillation. So it's a major public health burden. So I'm really very keen on continued advances in our techniques and technologies to improve the care of atrial fibrillation.